Hey guys, super exciting news. Apple today has officially released iOS 13 developer beta 4. Yes, hopefully this one fixes a lot of the issues that a lot of you guys have been having, including myself. I'm very happy that Apple chose today, the 17th of July to release this beta. I was actually anticipating Apple to release this on the 22nd or the 23rd, but again, I'm very happy that they chose the 17th. A day later, after releasing iOS 12.4 developer beta 7, that was yesterday. If you missed that coverage, link in the description for that. But today, iOS 13 developer beta 4, now public beta testers. Uh, no one is really sure when this will be made available to you guys, but I'm anticipating maybe a day or tops two days before you get your hands on the latest beta for iOS 13. You can follow me on Twitter. I'll update you guys there. Maybe even this afternoon. Who knows? Apple is pushing software updates rather quickly. Uh, this only took approximately two weeks from the original release of iOS 13 Developer Beta 3 on the 2nd and about a week or so from the re-release of iOS 13 Developer Beta 3. So we see Beta 4 today. Now the size of the download on multiple devices, I've tried this on the Plus models here, the Max, uh, also the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 10R. It looks like 600 to 690 megabytes, give or take, coming from Beta 3 to Beta 4. Now let's go ahead and take a quick look at the build number. Of course, you guys, if you are a developer, go to General Software for updates and this will populate on your device but the latest bill number for beta 4 is 17a5534 now, I've only had iOS 13 developer beta 4 installed on this iPhone for approximately an hour to an hour and a half, and I haven't dug around the software deeply to find everything that's new. However, there's two standout features that I want to share with you guys, and of course, you guys can anticipate my follow-up video tomorrow or, or the latest two days from now here on the channel for everything that's new. I'm going to be comparing it to beta 3 and share with you guys everything that I come across within the next 24 to 48 hours. However, the two options that I want to share with you guys is the re arranging applications on the home screen options when you 3d touch on a home screen icon this is a entirely new option for iphone now that apple has added long press or 3d touch like actions to all iphones in ios 13 it was getting sort of confusing because if you long press you get the 3d touch menu and then you keep pressing and this will go into edit mode this was actually getting a bit confusing so i'm happy that apple has added the rearrange applications menu integrated right within the 3d touch menu this is going to make life a lot easier for a lot of users and i want to see more of this from apple coming to ios 13. now in the messages application if we go into messages and we double tap with two fingers we can go into edit mode and select the message threads that we want to delete if we want to do that i'm not quite sure how great that actual feature is it does work properly so far in beta 4 but it just gets confusing sometimes i tap into the actual message thread and it doesn't work properly but it is there i'm just very very happy that apple has added this new option to the 3d touch menus and as i mentioned guys I've only had this software installed for about an hour hour and a half and I haven't had a chance to dig through the entire software but anticipate this video coming shortly everything that's new 24 to 48 hours I'm gonna be testing the battery and you guys already know my follow-up is coming here shortly thank you for watching this quick update letting you guys know that iOS 13 developer beta 4 is currently out I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you very soon peace